Ladies and gentlemen, I am yours all the game is War Thunder, and welcome once again to Lunchtime Tankery, and another puppy kicking video, to be perfectly frank. I'm in my T3442, we are in Berlin, it is domination mode, so we have the usual three cap points. My apologies for the minimap, replay mode did some interesting things, but that gets you a slightly larger view. You can see you've got the standard deployment, capture point C west of the Kroll Opera, B at the centre of the Konigsplatz, and A at the entrance to the Reichstag. The game plays out pretty much as you'd expect to start with. By default I tend to go for the point C in these maps. There's a lot of nice cover around there that you can play hide and seek with. B is okay if you're coming from the north. There are a couple of quick ways to get there. And A, well that's just a death trap. Way too much open ground to the north of the Reichstag. But, I digress. Initial play is a fairly standard shakeout, really. The team breaks for A and C for the most part. For some reason, the Marder 3 stops. I'm not sure why he did that. And we'll just speed things up to save a bit of time. So as I come around this corner, I get my first glimpse of the enemy. I just pick up Alco 2 FR as he breaks for cover in his Panzer 3L. Now, I could go left, take the next block and come face to face with him but I'm figuring he hasn't seen me. So I decide instead to head down the main road, swing past the capture point, and pitch straight round him. There's a T-34 here as well. I didn't know he was there at the time, but as I come around this corner, Alk just about gets the spot, realizes I'm here. He backs around the corner, tries to get his turret round, and I catch him. Don't know what I hit, but it was good. The turret landed on the other side of my T-34. KV-1, Leladoka comes round, misses his shot, my return shot doesn't hit, and he detonates as well. I miss Martin 4767. At this point, I've got the two T-34s, well, the T-34 and the T-28 on my radar, so I start pegging down, get Kim square in my sights, catch him, and another clean shot into his ammo rack gets me my third kill of the game. T-28 shoots, Misses, I think. Unfortunately, face to face with a 76mm gun in a T28. Yeah, that's not a good position. German Hermann at this point is square on with. Just as soon as I can find him. Where'd that go? There we are. He's face to face actually with my buddy, Typhon29, who is repairing up. But they're just bouncing shot after shot off, off each other. And then Limbob gets a square hit in. If I pause it, you can actually see for a second that he had got a little bit nosed down here. So the Sturmhabitz's rounds had a much nicer time. As it happens, I was coming around the corner another 10 seconds and I'd have slammed a shot into the back of his turret. So it was really just a question of who was going to murder him. And unfortunately for me, Limbob got there a fraction of a second before I did. A fraction of a second before Typhoon did. And, well, yeah, that's what happens when you get isolated from your teammates. Thou shalt not wander too far off unless you know where your support is. So things aren't going too well for the other guys. We've got point C, point A and B have stalemated for the moment. And at this point, I'm swinging north again looking for more victims. And I immediately find one. Zelikin actually gets his first shot in. As I remember, he actually caught my loader on this. Unfortunately, I know where to hit a stug. Remember, that front driver plate, if you've got the penetration to go through a stug's front armour, typically 80 mils, then that driver's hatch is the sweetest of sweet spots. It's almost always a one-hit kill because you get the driver, the gunner and the commander neatly lined up like ducks in a row. Onwards once again, kill number five, a reload, and it's back up to rejoin with Moritz and Il Camarano Rosa. The enemy starts grabbing point B down in the Conics Platz, but Alk is back in his Panzer IV F2. Camarano fires, doesn't achieve very much. His second shot, however, murders Alk just as I come round the corner, save me a 75mm hello from him. Panzer 35T over on the right. We'll have to have a look at that at some point in a bit more depth. 
lay up on what's left of the Panzer IV. Of course, he's obviously dead. This is arcade mode. And we're just trundling through the city, coming round on to the North team's traditional sub point. Hi, guys! Boom! First hit wrecks the T-34. Reload. Second hit detonates the Panzer IV M2. This is why you watch your flanks, ladies and gentlemen. At this point, I am lining up on the M3 of Dalzhensko. First hit goes into his turret. And not really good firing position, so I decide to advance. Maybe this was foolish, because I'm getting very exposed here, but I really don't care, because no one's looking my way. And another Panzer IV burns. Come on, guys. Back up. Dalzhensko finally realizes something going on. Gets another shot from the 76. He, This guy does not die to me. He just eats shot after shot after shot because it's a bad angle for me. You can see there he's partially concealed and he's not really at an angle where I can get any decent sniper shot. However, I've got some cover behind me. German Herman comes along in another T-34. He gets around the corner. I managed to get a shot into his turret ring. I'm not sure who actually gets the kill. Oh yeah, it was me. Sorry about that, guys. Meanwhile, we've got the KV-1 at 200 yards ahead under Tatsa. Dalzhensko is still eating shots from my 76, and I'm booking up on what's left of a T-3485 by the looks of it. Anyhow, advance forwards, comrades, for great victory. Take a left, H-166 gets a shot into Camerano. Does him some nasty damage, but it really isn't helping him. However, it doesn't have Camerano when the J1 comes around the corner under Zelatine. Bad news for Zelatine, however, is he wasn't looking behind him. Gets a shot to the turret to remind him to look both ways when crossing the road. And when the reload comes in, I get another shot into his engine deck. And then I hear this little donk on the side as the M3 starts trying to find me. Finish off Zelatine. And, well, this is adorable. Really. No, really, it's adorable. I mean, they're just bouncing shot after shot. One shot into the hull cripples the Panzer IV F1. And then, I think it was Leshy who got the shot into him. Yeah, my gunner is unconscious at this point. Desperately trying to recover things. I've also had a jammed horizontal drive at this stage, if memory serves. Yep, there we go. So, pull up. Start to make my repairs. And, well, Leshy's having some fun as well, playing peekaboo with a Marda. Gets a couple of shots back in for his trouble. Let's have a quick look at what he's doing. Come on, Leshy, what were you seeing? Just, yeah, he's round the corner. Doesn't really want to get face first with even an M3 in that situation, because, hey, that armour plate is only 10mm. It's not going to do very much, but I'm sticking my head back round the corner. And fire a shot into H166, set him burning. Also realise there's a T-3440 there, but he's not really paying much attention. And now he's dead. Meanwhile, H-166 has just got that fire out. Doesn't help him. Second round goes in, and that's a detonation. Leshy's been taken out by one of the M3s, who promptly gets an introduction to my gun. So Dayton, at this point, is going to try something extremely bold and just a little stupid. I didn't see this guy, and I wasn't paying attention. I was more interested in the M2 drone. But I take a hit, wonder what's going on. Dalzhensko comes round, 37 mil bounces, come on man, 37 mil in this tier, 75 or go home. He chose to go home. So Dayton comes barreling in, gets a couple of cheap hits and gets close. And I'd taken some hits to my vertical drive here, so I couldn't really aim. The engine was out. So at this point I am desperately firing shots into his cupola. Of course, the shrapnel is bursting down, and we're just swapping rounds again, and again, and again. And unfortunately, eventually, he runs out of crew before I do. Meanwhile, over on the other front, things are winding down at this stage. Genjo is static in his Panzer 35. I almost feel sorry for him, because that's an uneven matchup if ever there was one. Welcome to War Thunder, mate. Sometimes you're the bear, and sometimes the bear gets you. Meanwhile, so Dayton pops back in in a BT-7 of all things. I'm making my repairs, the engine's just about fixed, and oh, hi there! Boom, detonated. 
19 kills for no loss. Don't really want to start camping this spawn point too much. I mean, they you get a grace timer and I can't immediately kill them, but hey! Oh, hi there, KV1L11, and he doesn't know I'm there, so just back up, line the shot onto the side of the turret, and make the kill. And then my luck runs out in spectacular fashion, because you know some people know artillery barrage coming down. One hit, first triples, and then just burns the tank down. Smokey got his shot in. And that was pretty much the end of my contribution to this round, because to be frank, the enemy is going to run out of vehicles before I get back. Smokey's... That's not Smokey. Oh wow, that was a friendly artillery shot. I thought Smokey was an enemy, so I'm sorry about that. He's on fire. The Panzer 35T. We are seeing the duel of the weenie guns here, ladies and gentlemen. 37 mil against 37 mil. And Genjo wins it. Memory serves the Panzer 35 if it's using the same gun as the 38. Actually had a access to APHE ammunition, although not very good. There's only so much explosive you can get into a 35 mil gun. Doesn't save however, because Typhoon comes barreling around the corner. And criminally wasn't paying attention. So here comes the advance. What was Typhoon doing actually? Yeah, there we go. He's static with Genjo, 75 mil. It's gonna make the kill. I mean, there's really nothing else that can come out of this here. 35 mil against 45 mils at 60 degrees. There's only one way that ends. Come on, who gets the kill in? It was Leshy in his Panzer 3J1. Where did that come from? Let's have a quick look. Leshy, 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 where are you? 3J1. Ah, right, so he barreled up the other side while Genjo was shooting at our T-34. And that was the end of it. The enemy had run out of tanks. Win by annihilation. Not something you normally see in a War Thunder game. As I say, usually when you get that kind of victory, it means there was some serious puppy kicking going on. But the end scoreboard, 20 kills and one assist to me, 7 kills and 4 assists to Leshy. And over on this side, well, Tatsa had a pretty decent run. Six kills before he got wiped out. And we'll just draw a veil over the rest, I think. Some things are best not discussed. Ladies and gentlemen, a quick lunchtime tankery. 1.51. I don't know if they've done anything to the 76mm gun besides the general tweaks to spalling and other effects that were necessary to bring in the Hesh rounds for the Leopard. But, oh boy, that 76, it felt a bit more destructive than usual. Until next time, farewell.